we estimate about 65 million people a year travel by inner city bus, which makes it twice the size of Amtrak uh, and about 15% the size of air travel. Airlines remain kind of a transit, we call it a, a, trans, a, a technology wasteland. And we think some of the growth of Amtrak uh, and, and bus travel has been attributed to this as well. Uber and Lyft and other what we call ride sourcing carriers come on the scene. We, uh, we looked at Uber Pool only and we recorded all the qualities of the trip, often with two people on a team. One person per mode take public transit and one person uh, use Uber Pool. And to give you a little bit about Chicago's public transit system, it's primarily an elevated system. We have two subway lines. The L is doing very well. It's uh, seen constant ridership growth. It's had the highest ridership since 1946 last year. So the system has a real deficiency in that it was built when downtown Chicago was king. So if you want to go downtown, this system's great. If you want to go between the neighborhoods, I hope you enjoy your trip downtown on the way there because that's the only way to, only way to get there. So the system isn't as integrated as well as we can uh, as well as it should be. And we had a data collector who then uh, went from uh, nodes from, the, from different parts of the city, which I'll describe, we stratified with one uh, departing using Uber Pool, the other using uh, rapid transit service. And the first thing that I want to point out is how far you walk on public transit on average and you realize that Uber Pool completely takes that away. So the average walk is about 0.46 miles. Then we looked at the actual fares of Uber, pretty much for about eight or nine or $10, you can get anywhere between downtown and the north side of the city. So we found that overall, you can expect a seat on public transit on about 65% of your trip miles. 35% you can expect to stand. If it's rush hour, you can forget about getting a seat. And we can see transit fared better than many cases we thought. And we find that on transit, the average trip is 49 minutes and Uber Pool is 43. But if you're not coming downtown, if you're coming to outer downtown, Uber Pool will be faster than in coming downtown. Uh, traffic issues are less, and the time difference gets to be much more significant. And then these neighborhood to neighborhood trips, it's not even close. The, uh, the difference here, you start to say, what is it worth people to save 20 minutes? Is it worth six or seven dollars to save 20 minutes? So there are many travelers that 20 minutes is worth eight dollars. Uber Pool is not significantly faster or slower than transit if you hold the number of public transit transfers at zero. And it says each transfer adds 18 minutes to your travel time. We think transit is suffering because of these new services. The ride sourcing we're talking about is a real force to be reckoned with.